video, let's explore sheet views and model views and how you can utilize them in your sheet set manager. So sheet views and model views are exactly what they sound like. They are a viewport that is either in the sheet or the layout space and the model space, vice versa. So as an example, what we have is we've got a sheet set manager or sheet set that has several sheets in it and we're in a drawing called details. I have not added this to my sheet set yet. So let's save this and go ahead and do that real fast. So let's do import as a sheet. Let's browse to the drawing. And there's my layout. So I'm going to import it and we're going to rename and renumber it. Z801 details. And our intent is to have put the details that we want for our plan assembly on this layout or other layout and rock on. Now, we want to utilize the tools in here for the numbering of our details and then be able to reference them back in our detail bubbles on our plan set. And it stay connected and update when we do it and be live connection between everything you do that, you will utilize these sheet views, these model views. So let me delete this North Era and bar scale. And let's make us some data real fast. So I'm going to hop over here to model space. And uh, I'm just going to insert a few details here so that we'll have something to work with. Nothing. Let's just choose two or three here. I'll just drop them on here. And you'll notice I'm using tool palettes to do this. Um, if you'd like to have a, a video on how to create these and utilize the tool palettes for the details, let me know in the comments and I can make a, a video of that at a later time. All right, so now that we've got some data in our model space, let's make some views. Now, I like to have a gridded view or something so that I am clicking the same every time. It's not necessary but uh, it just helps keep things easy in my engineering brain. Now, this looks, this grid looks exactly like this grid. And you may say, why don't I just zoom, go in here and zoom extends to that? And you would be right, you could do that, but we wouldn't be able to do this interactivity. Now, just because it looks the same, doesn't mean I have to put them in the same order. And I'll do that in a second. But first thing we want to do is, is I'm going to save this drawing. We're going to come over here to the view tab and we are going to create a new view. So I'm going to say new view. I'm going to give it a name and this is a uh, concrete channel. I'm going to define a window and then I'm going to click around the area that is in my view. You'll see it and I'll hit enter. To accept it and I will hit OK. Just that easy. Okay. And now I have a view. I'm going to repeat that process for the other two. Uh, regrettably, I can't see what I'm doing here. Uh, that's a concrete flume. So let's make us a new view. Give it a name. And uh, define a window and snap, snap, enter, and OK. And we'll do one more just so we'll have it to play around. And this is a ditch. So we'll make another view. Ditch. Snap, snap, enter, and OK. So I've got three save views. And what are views? Views are exactly what they sound like. They are a view in the model. Either three dimensional, two dimensional, whatever. It is a spot place in the model that represents that you wanted to save. And so if I click that, I can go straight to that view. Okay, so it's kind of like bookmarks if anybody's on GIS or anything. So I can also use it to quickly <coughs> go to that location. Now, because this drawing now has views in model space. And this drawing is part of my sheet set. When I hit save here, I can go to my model views 
and add a location. So I'm going to click this and I can navigate to a folder. This is also a way if you wanted to do details in a single drawing and have a whole bunch of views, you could do it this way. So let me navigate to wherever I have saved this drawing. I have to remember where I saved it. And hit open. Here are all of our drawings. If I expand this, I will see all of the views that are in this model space. Okay. Now I can come over here to the details. And if I want to take that view and put it as a sheet view, I can click it and drag it in. Specify an insertion point and put it right there. Now that view came in. You can't see it because it's tiny. Now I did this deliberately so that you could see that the scale of your layout of your model view affects the view when you bring it into the sheet. So in my case, my, my detail sheet is a one-to-one. -one. So when I created my views, it needs to be at this. If I come up here under the View tab and View Manager, go to Models, and choose the views that I made, notice that that annotation scale is there, and it will not let me edit it. So if you make this mistake, you will have to recreate them. Okay, so I'm going to go off camera real fast, recreate these, and then we'll move forward. Now that we got those, we'll take it, we'll, we'll do what we did before. I'll drag it, and notice here we go, it's the right size. I'll insert it. Do the same for the next two. And there we go, we're just plopping them in there just that fast. Okay, now I'll hit save again. And now, on this sheet, I have three sheet views. Pretty cool, huh? So now how do we tie all this together? So let me remove, let me remove two of these real fast. Maybe all three. Now, built 10 to the sheet set manager are some other options. If I right click on the sheet set and I go back to its properties, up here under the sheet set itself, you can see a model view, a label block, and a callout block. So you can insert blocks that can automatically come in when you do this. And let's do that real fast. So I'm going to select some that we've already gotten created. I'm going to do the label block. And OK. And the callout block. And now that I have those in there, watch what happens when I do the views again. So let's go to our model views. I'm going to drag and drop. I'm going to place it right here. And that block is inserted, which has some fields for the view title and the view number. And it comes in right there. And I can take it and move it however I see fit. So I can take this and place it right here. <coughs> Now, just like our page numbers, your views, your sheet views, can be renamed and renumbered. So if I come right here, right click and rename and renumber, I want this to be detail number one. And this is going to be typical whoops, oops, channel detail. And I hit OK. And then I regen. And there we go. And this block has a tail that I can pull it over and do like that. And then I can name and number all of my details. So let's do uh, the ditch. Hit OK. And then let's do the flume. Hit OK. 
Okay, and there they are. And then I could rename and renumber each one of these. By going to my sheet views. This is detail number two. And this is detail number three. And when I regenerate, that'll come up. You save this drawing. And now the last thing is, that was the layout. What about the callout bubble? So if I come over to Happy, and I go to this the Happy guy, and he is really happy because he knows what the ditch detail is. I can come over here in my sheet views, when I right click, and I can right on, click on it and say, place a callout block. I can select the block, which is right here, the one that we chose earlier, and hit OK. And it will populate that information. So if I come in here again and I choose it, I can choose where I'm clicking, and I can click it and hit OK again. And it automatically kept up with that detail number and the page number it was on. So if I come in here and I said, Re I want that de that one. And I'm in a totally different drawing than details. Keep that in mind to be detail 200. I hit OK. When I regenerate or when I run my plot, those will automatically link. What is even more interesting, if I close this, if I hold the control button and hover over one of these fields and click it, it will go to that sheet layout because I click the sheet layout button. Close it. If I Control and click the detail number. Whoops. It will go to the actual view. Okay. And that interoperability and hyperlinks carry over to your PDF. So if I come in here and I publish this PDF real fast, make sure I got it closed, which I don't. Rerun this real fast. Then open that file again. Maybe. There we go. <laughs> and see, it's added all of that in here. And if I come over to, I think we put him on happy, right? These hyperlinks are active. See how the icon changes? So I can do the exact same thing I did before. I can click 200 and it goes straight to that location in the PDF, which is really cool and really helpful doing some of your plan assemblies. Same thing for the page number and vice versa. But that's it on going through these adding sheets, views, and model views and some of the cool interactivity between them. If you have any comments, please leave them. Uh, if you like this content, please click the like button. Feel free to subscribe and click the uh, notifications bell if you want notifications when I post more content.